Well, with me now, the MP Rupa Huck, Labour Shadow Minister for Crime and Prevention. Not and from... Sorry? Oh, sorry, carry on. I was Shadow Minister you until were. one of the Brexit votes. I beg your no. pardon. Right, so I must well, correct well, you. Rupa Huck, former Labour Shadow MP, Minister. Former Shadow yeah. Minister. <laughs> beg your pardon. And from New York, Anne Coulter, the Conservative commentator who may well be the reason Trump tweeted this. She is one of only 45 people he follows on Twitter, and she tweeted one of those Britain First videos just before he did. Anne Coulter, did you know that what these videos were uh, was, was fake news, effectively, that they weren't what they purported to be and that they were being tweeted by a vile hate group? Um, have, I did not know they had to this moment have been proved to be fake. Have you done an investigation of the Dutch boy being, being kicked by the Muslim? The tweet said have it was a migrant them? Muslim and there is absolutely no evidence found that it was either a migrant or a Muslim. Uh -huh. Do you, do you know oh, that he, do yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, okay, this is the old, no, this is the old. Okay, so it's the usual, you, you have no evidence for what false. you tweeted. Okay, fine. No, I'll be. We, we, that isn't proving it false. We've established if you produce evidence that, you have that it's no false, evidence. I will be happy. We have established that you have no evidence. You were <laughs> the one who was tweeting it. Well, if it's false, I'll say that it's false. But you can't just say, oh, you haven't proved it, therefore it's false. Well, this... If only you had a multi-million dollar news investigation bureau behind you, and maybe you could find out. But no, this idea that we won't count how many Muslims are committing crimes, we won't count how many how many immigrants are committing crimes, and therefore yeah, we're off the point now. Don't worry about that. Says um, Rupa about Huck, uh, why does this matter? Can you explain to Anne Cool to why it matters that the president is tweeting this stuff? Look, these people have scant regard for facts. They don't ever check, fact check their stuff. I think it's appalling, it's unacceptable, it shouldn't go unchallenged. And the thing is, these kind of things have consequences. So, I mean, yesterday in the House of Commons, we launched Islamophobia Awareness Month. And uh, every time these kind of things happen, you hear of hijabs being ripped off girls, you hear of, you know, even grandfathers coming home from the mosque at midnight. In some cases, you know, we've had deaths from these. Brit Britain bans these hate preachers have consequences. Britain bans hate preachers. It's Absolutely. banned people from America in the past. Yeah. Should Donald Trump be allowed here? No, he shouldn't. And already that visit has been downgraded. It was going to be a state visit. It's now going to be a visit. Whatever it is, we shouldn't be rolling out the red carpet, any coloured carpet. Even if he comes on a visit, he will still be in Downing Street. He'll still be flying the flag. It's completely unacceptable. This man is noxious. And his presence in this country is not conducive to harmonious race relations. And Coulter, um, you see the reaction here. The truth is that this is exactly what you want in America, though, isn't it? Because Donald Trump was tweeting this for his own immigration campaign in America rather than the effect in Britain. Um, no, the same way you're commenting on American politics right now. Every once in a while, Americans are interested in what's happening in Britain. Um, I, I don't think it is about his domestic politics. Again, you haven't established this is untrue. It certainly seems to be true. We are in the middle of an avalanche of, of massive um, violence by Muslims screaming out Allahu Akbar. Certainly, I'm, I'm, I'm not in favor of hijabs being ripped off, but I think it's a little bit worse to be blown up in the tube um, or shot up at a, at a um, you know, nightclubs in New York, be run down, running down pedestrians. I mean, th look, th this has the ring of truth. It's not like it was a video of monkeys performing open heart surgery. You have no evidence that it's untrue. This yeah. is how the internet works. It sounds People true. It has the, the ring news. of truth. They send things out. It, this is extraordinary. I mean, yeah, it's like you hearing have no the White House spokesperson saying it doesn't really matter whether the video is true. Comical Ali. I think we've got Comical Ali here. No, I'm not saying that. No, I'm not saying that. You are, you are, your entire well, premise the White House discussion that. is it must be false. <laughs> well, we have no evidence that it's false. I saw the, the video. You saw the video. Why don't you find the two of them and prove it's false instead of did, having did an you entire hear, discussion did you hear just assuming it's false? The interview with the Dutch website who uploaded the video. They looked into it. The police looked into the incident. There was absolutely no evidence he oh. was either a Muslim or really a migrant. Like, you're just like, making um, this stuff up. Like Rotherham, and now you're standing by it like because Rotherham you can't, police you can't into back the, up anything that like you've tweeted. Like Rotherham police looked into the Pakistani rape gangs, like the Shen Well, this, this is what you that, always like do. You always change the subject into, into something else. We're not talking about that. We're talking about what you I'm not changing the tweeted. subject. We are living in a world where the media, police chiefs, um, the government lie to us about this epidemic of Muslim violence. Um, so, yeah, you have to rely on other sources for this. Rupert?
I mean, they're just using this for him to play to the gallery the way that he uses our nation. America is meant to be our closest ally and our oldest partner. We're meant to have a special relationship. And the way that this man has used our country to propagate his noxious, vicious, right-wing, Islamophobic agenda, and it's part of a pattern, isn't it? The way he snipes at Sadiq Khan. I think some crime figures were released, MPS figures, and he was having a go at Sadiq Khan for this. The, the attack that wasn't an attack in Oxford Street the other day, it was almost that he was annoyed. I mean, these people, the, 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 the Muslim ban, the wall with Mexico, we want the kind of president who's into building bridges, not walls. Um, there's the, pulling out of the climate change agreements, the list goes on. Theresa May, to her credit, when she was Home Secretary, she was actually quite swift to ban people that she didn't want in this country. People like Tyler, the creator, who was a, a rapper who did homophobic lyrics. Let's not um, get into rapping, but... Well, look, I mean, I think if she applies those same standards, every time there was a statement saying that entry to Britain is not a right, it's a privilege, we do not welcome people who do not share our values... Rupert Huck, Rupert Huck, thank you very much. And Coulter, thank you for joining us as well.